Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So today is, I would say, a little bit of a different type of video. This is going to be my coat collection. So this is not including like blazers and jackets that I would predominantly use for, I would say, more workwear. So if you do want to see a separate video, I can definitely show you that. But I thought, you know, this might inspire someone to get that coat that they've been wanting or, you know, show a particular coat slash there are some jackets here and a different light and maybe help you make a decision or not by what I think. So again, definitely a little bit different, but if you do like this video, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, of course, if you do enjoy it. So getting straight into it, I'm literally sitting on the coats at the moment. I am going to try them on too. So, all right. I know I said that this is like just coats but I had to put this in here because this is my North Face jacket. Now I've actually worn this to work before because it was pouring down rain like one day. I'm in real estate doing open homes and I just needed something waterproof. Now I have to say you don't have to get a North Face jacket, like I'm not saying you have to, but I have had this particular jacket for probably like three years now and it looks brand new. It is probably one of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe. It's definitely an investment. I think this was around $300 or $350. It is one of the jackets that have the inner jacket as well, which I think, again, such good value. Like, you're getting basically, like, two things in one. And this has just been amazing. Like, absolutely amazing. I got this in, it's a US size medium. And I believe I got this from a store called Paddy Palin in Australia. But they do sell the North Face in a few different places. So, definitely... If you're thinking about it, again, doesn't have to be the North Face, but such a great, great addition to your wardrobe. I would 100% recommend. The next thing, okay, is this teddy coat, which I picked up from Uniqlo. I got this last year. It's a size extra small. I actually picked this one up on sale, so I believe it was $50 or $60. Now, I know teddy coats are super like you either love them or hate them. Trust me, I hated them in the beginning. I thought they were so ridiculous. But this is literally like wearing a blanket. Like, honestly, I wear this so, so much. I absolutely recommend. I don't know about other brands, um, but the Uniqlo one is literally so soft. It is so luxurious to wear. Like, I really, really love it. So if you're thinking about it, make sure you get a teddy coat that's actually super soft because you don't want one that feels gross. Like you, you want to be comfortable and feel all cuddly. Uniqlo, I recommend. The next one is this little jacket coat. So this is more of a cropped style teddy coat. Again, super soft. I really like this, but to be honest, I don't really reach for this at all. If I'm going to wear a teddy coat, I'm going to wear the longer one. I picked this up from Valley Girl. I got this in a size 12 and I believe that this was $50. So for Valley Girl, I feel like that's quite expensive, but yeah, I just don't personally reach for this one that much. Um, but I think it's cute. Like if I'm going to go out and wear a dress, this is probably something that I would reach for just because I think it works better. The next item is this like cape coat, which I picked up from Portman's. I got this oh, maybe about a year ago, I would say. Now, they actually have some very similar ones. It did have a belt on it, but I took it off immediately and threw it out. I just was never going to wear it like that. So I got this in a size small. I believe that this was $70, but 
Portman's is quite expensive to be honest, but black coats are really hard to to show you, but they do last. So if you are looking for pieces that will last, I think it's better to spend that little bit extra. Um, and Portman's is great for that. I do have a few of their blazers as well. And so far they have really been like really great. This. Such a mess. This black coat here. I picked this up from H&M. This is in a size 10, if that focuses. I've had this for probably like four years and this looks brand new still. H&M and this like particular style of coat, honestly, I don't think they sell it anymore. Obviously, it's been so long. But so surprised at the quality, really, really happy with this and this I reach for so much. A black coat is such a staple in any collection, I believe. This is more of a casual coat. It's just like a really beautiful beige colour with like a Sherpa lined hood with the fur. Um, it's like really nice inside. I picked this up from Target. I've cut the tag off. This was actually in the girls section, um, which is a bit of a hack, which some people just haven't thought of. Now, like, of course, some people feel weird about this, but you can shop in the kids section and, you know, sometimes they fit a kid's 14, sometimes it's a kid's 16. But they do have a different selection of clothes and sometimes they're a lot cheaper. So yeah, I think this one was around $30 or $40. As I said, kid size 16 and like it's really cute. It's that sort of style and I've had, yeah, for a few years now and it's lasted so well. Like it looks quite new still, which I love. This is my most recent purchase, which will, you will see in a whole video. So this is from Dotty. This I got in a size 10 and it was recently on sale for $90. So I really like how simple this is. And then just on the back, it's just super plain. I really, really like it. And I just like how that sits and it's really warm and cozy as well. And my last coat, which is super dirty and definitely needs to be cleaned, is probably... Def well, definitely my most expensive, but also my least worn. I'm sort of scared to wear it in a way, but every now and ag again, I definitely do. So it is a Burberry trench coat in the size. The sizing really, it's a size four. So I don't know what that is in Australia's, Australian sizing. Um, but yeah, it says size four. And I don't know what else it says. That's it. So this is what it looks like. It's quite long, but I really like that. It's in the beautiful, like, creamy grey beige, not like the yellow beige, which I really like. The inside is obviously the Burberry pattern. That's what... Oh, here. It also says... So it's a UK4, US2. I don't know what the other countries are. But yeah, that's what the label looks like. So yeah, this is obviously, again, a bit of an investment piece. Being, I think that these are around 4,000 Australian dollars, which is just so much money for a coat. But yeah, again, I've had this for years. It literally looks like I've just bought it. But it's just, I have a lot of makeup on the collar, which I do need to get dry cleaned. But yeah, I really like that. Would I recommend this? Probably not, just because you can get a lot of cheaper ones that are like literally the same. But again, I just can't vouch for quality. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again.